what's up guys welcome back to my channel so today is a sunday the first of may and i'm going to work so i'm gonna get myself ready and i thought while i'm getting myself ready um putting on my makeup and stuff i'll uh, do a quick video for you guys it is 10 past 9 in the morning and i've not long woken up so i may sound a bit weird and <clears throat> All that stuff <laughs> so anyway guys i hope you like my makeup video first of all i just want to say i'm so sorry for how messy i look today um my hair needs brushing and i might just stick it in a bun today rather than straightening it because i don't really have time to do it okay so i've already gone ahead and done my hair um just because i didn't want to spend too much time on do my makeup and hair, usually I do my makeup first and then my hair, but I just so just do my hair first. So anyway, now it's time for the makeup. Okay, so my makeup is now done, my hair's done, and now all I have left to do is to get dressed. So I'll be with you guys in a second. <sighs> I'm done. The only thing I have left to do is to apply my perfume and to dress my ears. Yes, you did hear that right. Dress my ears. So first of all, I need my hearing aid. There, I can finally hear again. My other hearing aid is downstairs, um, so I'm not going to bother with that one. But we're going to apply my perfume, and then I think we'll just apply some earrings or something. Perfume I'm wearing is a little lace dress. You know, you can get a little black dress, a little red dress, a little pink dress. I think you can also get a little white dress. This one is little lace dress, so it's very similar to the black dress one. It does smell very similar. Okay, earring wise, I was going to go for dangly earrings, but I think today we're just going to go for a stud. So I'm going to wear my mum's beautiful earrings. I don't think I've ever seen her wear these. So I'm going to wear them. These are blue and pink little sparkly earrings I don't think I've worn these either um, so yeah I'm just gonna wear them and here we go we have gorgeous blue and pink earrings in and I'm done I am done now for necklaces I don't usually wear a necklace but I think I might just go ahead and wear my, hmm, I don't 
dolphin necklace maybe that my husband got me if I can put on the damn necklace because last time we had a bugger trying to put this thing on so Sayers is open. Okay. We don't like Sayers. We like Greg's. See what sandwiches there are? Uh -huh. If they all contain meat, then I'll just have a cheese meat pasty and coffee and get myself one as well. So, yeah. Here is a busy morning for us. In fact, it's a busy long day. <sighs> I'm gonna make some space. First of May today and I'm like, oh my god, which means in five days time it's David's birthday and I have absolutely no idea what to get him for his birthday. David is a fussy person, like he doesn't want anything apart from me, <laughs> that's all he says. So I don't know whether to get him some new clothes because he is in need of new clothes really bad. But he also needs a brand new coat. So I've been thinking about getting him a coat, but I'm actually not sure what to get him. I know he's been looking at some tools um, online, so I might get him something. But I only have a few days to get him his birthday stuff, which is driving me crazy because today's the first, and usually I've got his birthday stuff all sorted by now. But I haven't, so yeah. Um. So anyway, if you guys have any suggestions what to get your husband for his birthday, then comment down below, let me know. You know, it would be fantastic if I can up with some ideas. I've been looking on eBay and stuff for like gifts for men kind of thing, but they come up with like mugs and stuff like that. And we have a ton of mugs. We don't need any more of that stuff. So... 
I was thinking maybe I should get something with a sentimental value, you know, something that's, you know, means so much to him, but I don't know what, to be honest. Like, it's so hard. Like, every, every birthdays, every Christmases, every wedding anniversary, any, every Valentine's, we don't actually celebrate Valentine's Day, to be honest. Um, because we're married, so we thought, you know, why not, you know, why celebrate it? It's only one day. I know our wedding anniversary is only one day, but that's the day that we actually got married. So, that means so much more to us than Valentine's Day. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. I have absolutely no idea what to get him. But as I was saying, his birthdays, Christmases and stuff like that, it's always hard to buy him stuff because he's such a picky person. And here he is. With coffee. And a pasty. And a pasty. Oh, they have no vegetarian cheese yet. Do they not? No. I've got a cheese on your pasty. I can smell it. Mm -hmm. It smells a wash. Mm. And we have, we both have, I have a coffee and I'm presuming... You have a latte. Sorry, a latte. <laughs> and my husband, I'm presuming he's got a hot chocolate. Yeah. Well, they'd stick a stir in for hot chocolate. <laughs> but that... It's not what I. It's not because I recognise the stick of stone. <laughs> it's because I know what you have from Greg's. Yeah. Anyway, a latte is a coffee. I know. So technically, I was right. Are we eating here? Yeah. Good. <laughs> I can take off my seatbelt and start eating my food. My husband always puts the sugar in my latte before everything else. Gives me my food and then puts the sugar in the latte. Don't you? Yeah, well, drinks go first always. I can't sort out your food and then sort your drink out later. But I could do that. You don't have to do it. This is the bit I can't do. There is a seam, which is there. Okay. Yeah. I can never do it anyway. You put the hole opposite yes. to the seam. Okay, got yeah. <laughs> I can still never do it anyway. I have worked in food service industry. And it's, an, it's a large latte. Not one of them small ones. Mm. Now he's faffing around doing his. Yeah, of course. This is why I said I could have done mine. Mm. You can start eating if you want. Oh, I can start eating. I've just noticed Domino's is open. Who orders pizza at 20 past 10 in the morning? Well, pizza's good if you got a hangover from the night before. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But I wouldn't order pizza. It'd be a bit sickly. Cold pizza's the best thing on a Sunday morning. Now that I do agree on. <laughs> I do agree on. Cool pizza. So I have my large coffee latte. <clears throat> and the hubby has hot chocolate. And we are ready to move. <clears throat> and get ourselves to work. Traffic. Yeah. You would think that traffic would be this bad on a Sunday. you think it would be still quiet, but... I'm surprised. Oh, come on. Put your foot down. Are you... Stupid drive. I didn't know where he's going, that's why. It's so damn slow. I don't think he's from this area. He is. I've seen him around here before. Oh, perhaps. Mm -hmm. I just wonder why he's going so damn slow. By the way, just so you guys know, I am wearing my seatbelt. It just cuts into my neck a bit, so I'm kind of like tucking it down. They shouldn't do that though, should I?
others watching my video and then say, oh, where do you work? I ain't telling you where I work. I don't want people stalking me <laughs> in work. Thank you. 
Okay, so we are at work. So I'm gonna have to let you guys go and I'll be back later on. Let you know how work was and stuff. So yeah, see you guys later. Bye. Hey what's up guys? So we've just finished work. Wasn't a good day. Okay, so my phone has died, so I'm using my hubby's phone, which is more focusing on the face rather than everything else. <laughs> We're debating what to have for tea, and considering the location we are, there's a few takeaways and places that we usually eat from. Since I've become a vegetarian, it's been a little bit harder to find somewhere that does vegetarian stuff. Um, and we had a Papa John's I think, last week, so I don't think we should have one this week, although I could demolish one. <laughs> so, I could do with something warm, to be honest. been drinking um, a bottle of water all day but I've only drank I think about half a bottle so I'm quite thirsty and my husband is too um, so I don't know I don't know what to do if it was me and I was driving I'd make a decision easily but because I'm not a driver, I leave the decision to my husband and sometimes I disagree with what he agrees with or what his decision is I disagree with at times which is where the argument comes isn't it? Yeah. But we're okay. I just... Because wanna... you will decide on something that we passed over 15 minutes ago. Yeah. Because <laughs> my, bra my brain doesn't actually register like straight away. So if we just pass somewhere David's like how about here and I'm like mm. and then along the way about 15 mi minutes later it's usually yeah go on then he's like a bit too bloody late now love we're 15 minutes away from it and I'm like I'll just turn back around <laughs> he's like being married to me is hard isn't it <laughs> not that bad still you are when David was in Greg's, um, we did mention about his birthday, didn't we guys? Yes, we did. And David actually mentioned about his birthday at work, so he was thinking about a carvery, which sounds quite nice actually, only I don't eat the meat. Which will be cheaper anyway, because it's just be veggies and stuff like that. Um, so I don't know. Might have a um, carvery for your birthday. Okay. If you fancy it, it's your birthday. If you want it, you can have it. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go for carvery for his birthday. I'm still stuck on presents though, guys. No, See. This is exactly what I said to you earlier. It's, he always Don't says, he always says this every birthday, every Christmas, every Valentine's Day, every wedding anniversary. He always says he doesn't want Whoa. anything. Wrong lane, Mister. So I did say he will say that. So. Card will do. A what? A card will do. A car. Card. <laughs> I was going to say, well, I can't afford a card lock. <laughs> so, all he wants is just a birthday card. No, because I don't want to remember my birthday. You just... <sighs> Sometimes I... I don't need an expensive present. Sometimes I wonder why I'm married to you. 
it might it won't be an expensive present. Your expensive present was during Christmas. Still an expensive present if you haven't got the money for it. I suppose. Oh, I'm so tired. Do you know that weird moment when you think that people are like watching you because you're talking to a camera and they're not like they they can't, they kind of give you that look like who she's talking to? I always get that look, always. Ah, here comes my husband with a menu to decide on what to have for our tea. And I. The thing about my husband's phone is that he picks up all my bad flaws in my skin. Like you can see here, and here, and on my nose. That's so bad. And you can see this little thing that I kind of picked off. And of course my double chin. If I didn't, if I was, if I was skinny I'd be like that. <laughs> Something like that. But yeah, he has bought us a menu. Well, I can't ring it to. Do you know what? I've just realised that there's one down here. <laughs> I've just realised there's bought a menu down here. And I've made me well, you look at that one, I'll look at this one. Or do you want to look at this one? I'll look at that one. It doesn't matter which one we look at, David. Will you get in view of the camera? And that's so annoying when you do that. So we're looking at the menu. And we have vegetarian pizzas. Which are margarita, mushroom, veggie and a hot and spicy veggie. Don't like the sound of any of them at the moment. I don't want ham pizza, I don't want chicken pizza, I don't want meaty pizza. Oh, they have a seafood pizza as well. Do vegetarians eat seafood? Some do. That doesn't make them a vegetarian then, does it? Well, you're not full veg, because you do eat fish, tuna. Yeah. Mm. They have a seafood, oh, these are pizzas still. Don't want pizza. Uh, calzone Donna, Calzone Kiev, which is a chicken Kiev, no thank you, Calzone Ham, no, Calzone, what the hell does Mus that say? Muspassini. Muslipeet, whatever that. Muspassini. Say it, break it down. Mus per si ni. Mus per si ni. See me. Must per see me. Must per see me. No, I ain't gonna say it. Um, that's pepperoni, which is meat. Salami, which is meat. Oh, and you can create your own pizza. No. Why not try half and half pizzas? No. Then they have garlic bread. You can have a plain garlic bread, a garlic bread and tomato, garlic bread and cheese, garlic bread, cheese and mushroom, and garlic bread special, which is medium dollar meat and chips and choice of your dip. No, thank you. Then you have the extra toppings, which is veggie. Meat and cheese. Also, stuffed crust available. Then we have wraps. There's donna, chicken, lamb, mixed kofta, cheesy chips wrap. What? How special mixed wrap. Alright, and on the back of it, we have kebabs and grill. Donna, tray of donna, got and spicy chicken wings, butt fried chicken, chicken serve and turf. Hot and spicy Mexican chicken, steak, steak, serve and serve, hot and spicy Mexican steak, 
<laughs> Donna kebabs, lamb fish, chicken, kofta, mixed kebab, mixed kebab, how special. Burgers, beef, cheese, they have a cheeseburger, which will contain beef, obviously. Mm -hmm. Chili, chicken, barbecue chicken, Donna, King's House. They don't really have much vegetarian choices here. No. Skip this and go somewhere else. Um. Well, what? What's caught your eye on the menu? Nothing. Oh. Skip it. We're off somewhere else. Where mm -hmm. are we gonna go? Garden party. Papa, Papa John's. <laughs> We like our Papa John's. Mm -hmm. Bacon cheese sticks. He likes his bacon cheese sticks. I used to like it, but since I've been a vegetarian, I kind of went off the bacon. Why don't they have all the cheese sticks as well? Yeah, they only have the uh, plain garlic. Plain garlic cheese sticks. A bit weird. It's so hard trying to focus on you with the camera. Well, my screen is slightly small. Yeah, I know. I've got an itchy nose. Mm. I asked for a small pizza last time, and the small pizza was still quite big, weren't it? It was still yeah. quite a lot of it. Actually, did you know what? I've just realised it wasn't last week we had a Papa John's, it was the other day. Last week? It's a new week. It's not, it's Sunday today. Yeah, it's a new week. No, a new week starts on Monday. It's Sunday. Monday. If it was the weekend, it'd be a Sunday and a Monday. But the weekend is a Saturday and a Sunday, so that's the two ends. No, it's yes. not. A new week starts on a Monday, because you go to work on a Monday. That's a working week. But it still starts on a Monday. No, the working week starts on a Monday. The actual week starts... Kids go to school on Mondays, don't yeah, they? Yeah, that's a working week. It doesn't matter. It, the week begins on a Monday. Right, guys? It doesn't, yeah. uh, it doesn't begin on a Sunday. It begins on a Monday. It doesn't matter whether it's a working week, school week or whatever. It still begins on a Monday. We have our food. We're gonna go somewhere and um, park up and eat. This is so hot, I can feel it from the bottom. <laughs> it's so, so hot. Yeah. I'm gonna end up burning myself. That's the song. I can't sing it though. <clears throat> so while my hubby was in Papa John's getting our food, there was a bunch of kids at a bus station, or bus stop, shall I say, that were being nobbeds, basically. <laughs> um, I think there was one lad that went up to Papa John's door and yes. made some stupid noise or something. No, he, he went, give me free pizza, bala bala bala. Oh. So I kind of the Mickey out of the staff that work there. Oh, so I kind of got a little bit, you know, curious about them. A bit, you know, wary. What's the word? Is that the right word? Wary. 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 Yeah. So I locked the car because <laughs> like uh, they're being tits. So I'm going to lock the car. But they eventually got on a bus and a couple of them walked off and stuff. And I was like, yeah, I'm not so tough now that you're on your own. But, yeah. I think one of them spoke to um, a member of the staff as she was walking into work or something, like a piece of crap. And I thought, would you speak to your mother like that? Oh, 
told the woman that was serving, apologised and said, oh, it's alright, you can't control the kids. And she goes, no, it's the parents' fault. Uh -huh. It's not always the parents' fault, though. Because you could bring up a child perfectly fine, teaching it the right things and stuff like that, but when the child mixes with other kids, that's where the problem begins. Mm -hmm. It's not the parenting skills, it's the child. Sometimes, yeah. Majority of time, actually, because, well, actually, yeah, I'll say sometimes, because some some parents actually bring up their child to respect other people and yes, stuff like that. That's... And as, as soon as that child starts mingling with other friends and stuff like that and their friends mingle with other friends and they end up in like in a group kind of thing that's where they start acting like idiots and oh it's, look at me i'm the big respect. tough yeah they disrespect people mm -hmm. so i just wanted to say that in case i had a couple of mothers that came on my youtube channel and said well hold on you can't say that because of this because, you know, I bring up my kids perfectly fine and they do respect. There are some that believe that. Yeah, I mean, there are some parents out there that if you went and told them that your child was being very rude to somebody today and so and so, they are like, my child doesn't do that because I brought it up to respect people. Well, I'm s even though you did, but I'm telling you that your child did. I did see a YouTube video quite a while back where some woman was affronted by somebody whose kid had basically shouted and swore at him. Mm. And the mother goes, there's nothing wrong with my kid, I brought my kid up proper. So the kid turns around and goes, finger up. Yeah. And the mother does absolutely nothing. I thought that, that, that is just like annoying for me. I am stuffed. <laughs> Good. I enjoyed my pizza. It was a cheese and tomato pizza with mushrooms, sweet corn and red onion. And it was really nice. And then we had some cinnamon nuts, yep. which were delicious. We've never tried them before, but they were quite nice, weren't mm -hmm. they? Very nice. Mm. So we've saved some pizza. We've also saved some cinnamon nuts, and my husband's also saved some of his um, bacon sticks. His bacon sticks as well for later, or possibly for tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> probably tomorrow. I can eat a cold pizza tomorrow for my lunch. Unload. We are home. So it's nearly one o'clock in the morning and I am so ready for bed. So I'm just gonna wipe my face clean, give it a wash, brush my teeth and then um, moisturise my face. And probably give my hair a bit of a brush and then get into bed. So, that's what I'm going to do. First of all, I'm going to wipe my face.
So my teeth are now done, and obviously my face. Now it's just moisturising. Okay, my face is moisturised and it is now time for me to go to bed. So, with a wet top, which will dry during the night anyway, so I'm not bothered about that. So anyway, well, let's get into bed. Well, turn off the lights first and get into bed. My cat is on my side of bed so I'm going to have to move her. Oh wait, my husband's not ready for bed yet. So he's going to have to uh, sort himself out. Night. Good night, beautiful. Good night, everybody.